Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball, and my name is Jordan Briones. Are you new to pickleball singles? Well, in this video, we're going to give five tips that can improve your singles game. But before that, click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel, and also click the notification bell icon so that you can be notified anytime we release a new video. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so this is kind of a different video. We do a lot of doubles videos, but this is specifically for uh, singles. And these are five tips that is going to improve your singles play. Maybe you're just starting out trying to play singles in pickleball, or you've been playing for a while, but these are five great tips that I have for you. And the very first one is to understand the importance of the serve and the return in singles pickleball. Now, like doubles, the serve and, it's, and return is very important, but it is way more evident in singles. And the reason is that there's a lot more court to cover and with a strong serve and a strong return, that can really affect the rest of the point dramatically, okay? So, so let's first start uh, talking about the serve. Now, just like in doubles pickleball, there are a lot, a lot of similarities. Uh, a deep serve is key. Now, any serve that you serve short, or let's just say you want to just get the ball in, that's not going to put a lot of pressure on your opponents. If I could keep that serve deep and, and keep them hitting from further, further behind the baseline as opposed to hitting into the court, okay, that's going to put a lot of pressure on your opponent. And also, the return is super vital as well. Now, as your opponent is serving, as I hit my return, I don't wanna just give them an easy return so that they could hit any kind of third shot they would like, okay? I wanna get that return deep, um, preferably, uh, depending on the scenario, I wanna make them move is the, is the main thing. If, if they're on the right side, I usually will return on the left side. If they're on the left side, serving from the left side, I'll usually want to pull the ball way on the other side so that they can really, I can make them move for that ball, okay? So I'll show you a few examples here. All right, so the second singles tip that I have for you is to come to the net if you can uh, and as often as you can, okay? So there's gonna be some times um, that you might not be able to make your way to the net and that's fine. I'm not saying you have to come up every single point, but uh, coming up to that net, uh, especially after a return or even in the middle of a point can apply a lot of pressure on your opponent, okay? If, you, if you're rallying at the baseline and you're just, and both players are, are back at the baseline hitting shots back and forth, there's a lot of time um, when I, after I hit the ball, I'm waiting for that opponent to hit the ball and we're just basically rallying uh, with ground strokes. But if I could hit that ball and then come in and rush the net and put a lot of pressure on that opponent, that's a good play for me. So especially in the return, which you'll see a lot of the higher level players, they rarely stay back on the return. So this is something, like I said, depending on your mobility and quickness, if you can apply pressure at the net, do so. It's going to work wonders in your game and it's going to really, ha it's gonna make your opponent have to think about multiple things, okay? So let's show you that right now. <laughs> so that one right there, that was a great passing shot uh, from Katrina, but you know what? It's okay, sometimes they're gonna hit great shots. I'm gonna still try my best to apply pressure. And in an instance like that, I just gotta hit a better return. All right, so that return was just a little short and she pretty much could do a lot of things with that ball. All right, here we go.
All right, so like in those few points, hopefully it was clear that um, really coming to that net, making your way, hitting an approach shot, um, after hitting that shot and then making your way to the net will apply tremendous pressure on your opponent. Go out there and try that. And now let's go to the uh, third tip that I have for you for pickleball singles. Okay, so the third tip I have for you, um, especially in the intermediate, um, and lower levels of play, and this is also evident in the pro level, but I'm saying if you want to play the right shot and really put you in the driver's seat of a lot of points, this third tip is really important, and that is to keep the ball to your opponent's backhand side. Now, 99% of the players that you will play, uh, their forehand will be a much bigger weapon than the backhand. So. I'm thinking about where I'm serving the ball. I want them actually to return more with their backhand. And also, um, when I'm returning, I want to keep that ball to their backhand side, okay? So this is a, a big tip. Even if they have, um, let's say they're slid over to the left a little bit, even if there's a little bit more room uh, to, the, to the forehand side that I could hit to, a lot of times I would just keep um, pounding that backhand until they miss because I, one number one I know that it's not going to be as, as strong as a weapon and number two they're not going to hurt me as much as if I were to uh, hit them a forehand so let's show that right now All right, so like you've seen in those um, instances and those points right there, do your best to try to keep it on their weaker side, okay? Um, there's times that I'm going to definitely um, hit it to their stronger side when I have a lot of court open or when I have a really high um, ball that I could really put a lot of pressure or maybe put away. But for the majority, if I could keep it on their weaker side, you're gonna see I'm gonna see better results throughout the course of the game. All right, so now let's jump to the fourth tip for pickleball singles. All right, so now jumping into the fourth singles pickleball tip, um, and that is to hit where they're not, okay? So it's really important that you're using, uh, after you hit and, and before you hit, you're keeping an eye out where your opponent is on the court, okay? Um, at all times, I, I know where my opponent is at least coming from so that I know where to hit my next ball, okay? So being aware of where your opponent is is super important so that I could hit to where they're not. And basically, what that's going to do, it's going to make them move, okay? I, if they're already way on the right side of the court, I'm not gonna hit it all the way on the right side of the court so that they're just going to be stationary and hit that ball. I wanna always constantly make them move. If they're on the right side, I'm gonna hit it way on the left side. If they're on the left side, I'm gonna to try to make them run on the right side, okay? So this is really important in making them move and it will tire them out and it's just a smart play uh, when you are playing singles. In doubles, it's a lot different because you have two players um, that are covering their side of the court. But since you have the whole court available to you, this, is, this can really tire them out and it's just a smart play in pickleball. All right, so it can be really hard at times to do that, but any little advantage that you can gain, okay? If you see them leaning a little bit to the right or seeing them leaning a little bit to the left, just hit it the opposite way, all right? So this is going to gain you a lot of points and that can add up to you winning a match. So now let's jump into the fifth and final tip um, for singles pickable. 
All right, so the fifth and final tip that I have for you for singles pickleball is to hit and recover. And what I mean by that is whether you're hitting a serve, a return, third shot, fourth shot, any shot, you want to hit that ball. Let's say if I'm returning from here, okay? You wanna hit that ball and you always wanna to recover to the middle of the court. Why is this? Is because if you stay over here, then you have the open court, open court available to your opponent every time. So every shot I hit in singles, whether I am at the non-volley zone, volleying a ball here, after this shot, I'm always going to recover to the middle. If I'm gonna volley a ball here, I'm always going to recover to the middle. The same thing if you're, uh, let's say you're at the baseline, or maybe both of you are at the baseline and you're hitting a shot. Let's say I hit the down the line shot here. I'm gonna always want to recover to the middle so that I can cover my next shot, okay? Because if I stay, obviously if I stay away over here, there's a lot of court open. So, you, so as I run to the ball, let's say uh, my opponent takes me out wide here, that opens the door for them to hit uh, in a lot of area, but I really want to want to close that door and I want to come back Recover towards the middle of the court to give them less options Okay, and it, it just puts me in a better position to cover that next ball. Okay in doubles uh, We only play pretty much half of our side generally So we don't do this. We don't see this a lot in doubles But when you start playing singles since you have to play the whole court Make sure you hit and make sure it's in your mind that you recover to the middle here we go. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I hope you enjoyed all those tips, these are definitely going to help you out in your singles pickleball game and wherever you are in your journey of playing singles. Singles is a great game. It's definitely um, a lot different than doubles, but a lot of aspects are the same. And hopefully these tips help you out and they are beneficial to you, okay? So thanks for joining us in this video and we will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.